So my name is Sana Sayed. I'm a pediatric gastroenterologist and a data scientist here at UVA. I take care of children who have difficulty growing or who have things like blood in their stools or diarrhea. And these can be because of several reasons. So diseases like celiac disease, which is when your body has difficulty tolerating something called gluten, which is present in wheat, or diseases which are autoimmune diseases, so your body's immune system attacks itself. So diseases like inflammatory bowel disease. And from a global health perspective, I take care of children who have something called environmental enteropathy, which is really a condition of poverty and uh, poor hygiene. So how did I end up doing two sort of very different things, so data science and um, gastroenterology? So let me tell you a little bit about my background. So I grew up in a family with lots of physicians and surgeons, and what was interesting now that I look back was they were all doing something in addition to their clinical work, so either health policy activism or working in the community or doing medical education. So growing up, I knew I wanted to have an impact beyond my immediate self, and for me, um, that ended up being clinical research. When I graduated from medical school, I still hadn't been completely sure what I wanted to do. So how did I decide that needed to be clinical research? I actually spent about two years doing research as part of this large data gathering exercise. Uh, this was funded by the Gates Foundation and the WHO, and we were focusing on neonates, so babies in the first one month of life. And we were studying neonatal sepsis, pneumonia, and meningitis. And we were gathering global estimates of incidence, prevalence, and case fatality. And so as part of this project, I realized that there's so much you can do with big data when it comes together the right way. And I decided I wanted to be a clinical researcher. So for the clinical piece, I spent about three years doing pediatrics residency at Duke. And then I did another three years of pediatric gastroenterology fellowship at Emory, and then an additional year at Boston Children's Hospital, Harvard Medical School studying clinical nutrition, and some time in global health in Tanzania and Pakistan. And that's really what got me to UVA. So UVA is where my mentors, and now Division Chief Sean Moore was coming, and where he and uh, another mentor of mine, Asad Ali in Pakistan at the Aga Khan University, were co-leading this giant Gates-funded project to study environmental entropathy in Pakistan. So I was part of this team and I was trying to figure out what my niche could be, so what could I do that was not already being done. And a big clear gap was how the tissue was being studied to look at patterns of disease. So the, what the project had proposed was to use expert human opinions, so human physicians called pathologists would read the tissue, either give scores or grades, and we would also do things like morphometry, so measure what a cryptor villus looked like or count cells within the tissue. And what we realized was we now have the computational capacity to use things like machine learning based image analysis to pick up patterns across multiple tissues to put together a bigger, uh, larger picture of what disease patterns in environmental entropathy would look like. And we were using celiac disease and normal tissue as a way of comparison. So I started working with Don Brown here at the Data Science Institute and we started applying for grants and we ended up creating a multidisciplinary team just organically called the Gut Intelligence Lab. So that's really how our team came together. And as part of this work, I realized, I think I need to understand this language better. So I applied to and got into the Data Science Masters, which is what I'm doing this year. It's been a lot of fun, but a lot of hard work. Um, our program focuses on critical concepts like data mining, machine learning, but what's really interesting is this core embedding in uh, the ethics of big data. The other thing I find really interesting about this master's is the fact that we have a capstone, a thread that goes through the whole year, in which we're applying these concepts in a real life problem. And what I found really interesting is, I, it's almost like my mind has changed, my brain has bent, and learning this new language has allowed me to understand biomedical processes a little differently. I'm very excited about what's, uh, what's in the pipeline and what are the next projects we'll be working on.